My name is Frank Morata, and uh, the flies that I'm tying today will basically be midges. And it's anywhere from the larva stage and the pupa stages. And then I also have a couple of stripping patterns that represent bait fish. And uh, that's probably the other set that I'll be tying this afternoon. Uh, what I'm going to be tying right now is the first stage or the larval stage of a midge when it comes to uh, the life cycle. Um, blood midge is typically what they're called. Um, they're down inside two to four inches off the bottom of, of the water column and they're typically red in color. And being red in color, uh, it's like a worm. So that's what I'm going to attempt to tie today or tie for you. Uh, what I am using is a 2457 hook from Tiemco. Uh, it, generally it's anywhere between a size 16 and a size 14. Um, some of the materials that I will be using is, it's kind of a unique kind of a thread but it's a stretch cord. And what it is is actually found in jewelry stores. And it's a 0.5 millimeter stretch cord in clear. I'm also going to be using uni thread, a dot red, and to cover up the head, I'm going to be using a dot uni thread black, and that's basically the fundamentals of what you'll see. It's not a hard fly to tie, but I can tell you it's very effective in what it does. I'm going to start off. And what I do is I take the red thread and I start off with eight turns. And when I'm actually going side by side like this, I'm using the other side of the thread here in order to keep everything side by side so that way I don't overlap anything. So I snip off the end. I take my cord and I place it on the top of the shank itself and I cinch it down. And the same principle is I use the stretch cord in order to keep the threads side by side all the way down. And the reason why I want it side by side is that when I roll this back up with the stretch cord up back up the fly, everything's going to be an even keel. So there's no bumps, nothing else when you go along. With a size 16, I can tell you it's 70 counts as far as a uh, wrap goes. Uh, and with size 14s, typically I'm using about 80 wraps. So I'll keep that going all the way down. And you're taking it, if you don't want to count, you can take it right down to where the thread starts to turn 90 degrees and face straight down. Okay? So everything's all flat now as far as what I got going on. What I do now is I take the thread back up and I try and do it side by side as well. Okay? So it's a little bit slower process because I don't have the stretch cord to help me keep and make sure that I'm not overlapping. But with the magnifying glass that I'm using today, it helps me to see that so that way I know I'm not overlapping and I keep a smooth contour all the way back up the body of the fly. Okay. Once I'm done with that, I'll snip off the end. Take it all the way back down, and then I take it right back up to my eight, eight turn spot. So I'm sitting right there with my eight turn. In order to put and wrap the rest of the body, what I do is I take head cement, which is the thin head cement, and you'll notice that when I put the liquid on, it'll darken up the fly. It'll actually brighten up the red a little bit more, so that way it's a little bit more like life. Now, when you see larva stages in the water, they are really bright, bright red. They're, they're not typically that musty color or anything else, so that enhances the color off. When I take the stretch, now I just go right over it, side by side, right back up. The body of the fly. Okay. 
really big. Notice when it's coming off now, that clear has now all of a sudden turned red. So it shows up real prevalent and you get good segmentation because of the way that the cord is. Take that off the back, snip the end off. And what I do is I finish it off with a couple turns back up. If you want, you can fish the fly as is with a red head. But I found out that underneath the water and in some of the stuff that we've looked at in the past, that if you make a promenation of where the head is at with a different contrasting color, they see it actually a little bit better. So what I do is I take either olive or I take black. Right now in Southern California, the black is actually working better. So I do the same thing. I start my wraps, I take it straight up, side by side, all the way through, snip it off. Do the same process now. I would finish it back tense going back. And I always try and make it side by side so you have a very smooth contour. With a larval stage, you'll notice that when you actually see them in the water, it's very smooth. There's no bumps. And all I do is take a little head cement so that way I have a fly that's going to be a little bit more durable. You want? That's a finished fly.